But I tell you what, it is absolutely glorious here today. Beautiful afternoon. Are you taking a mick at me? <laughs> yeah, I knew that was the word you were going to use. What, glorious? Come on. He uses it a lot. Uh, it's only because I'm posh. <laughs> Hello dear people and welcome once again to Where Am I? And once again I am up at the allotment plot. Uh, I'm joined by Zachary and Natalia, my two young children, and also my wife Jennifer. Uh, today uh, we've got a few jobs to do. One of them is to move some rhubarb from our new allotment and put it onto the spot that we've cleared on the uh, the, the older allotment, is it, if you will. Um, so that's one job we got to do today along with some other bits and pieces. Um, and also, I just want to say a massive, massive thank you to each and every one of you. Um, the other day we reached 500 subscribers on the channel, which is a fantastic little milestone to reach. So thank you, everybody. And if you haven't already, please do subscribe. It's free of charge and join me on my journey of gardening and everything else that has to do with nature. So um, that's enough of that. Let's get on and do some work. Right, dear people, here we are just outside the, the polytunnel. Um, we'll have a look around in a second. Jan needs a fork, here's the shed, and it is a mess. Um, which is one of the jobs we need to do, oh, is sort this out. But I do have the fork for Jen. It's quite well quickly found there for me, actually. And um, as you can see, so this top bed here uh, is for the children. And um, <laughs> that's Natalia and Zachary. Uh, they've got a black bin liner, and what they're going to do is they're going to use that as a liner to build their own little pond. They like building little ponds, and they always seem to lose water, obviously, because they haven't got liner. So they brought a black bin liner with them uh, to use it for that. So that's them um, having fun at the allotment. Jen is down here. Um, let's find my way down. <coughs> oh, sugar falling. Um, Let's find Jen, because Jen is in her rhubarb bed. There you go, babe. Oh. Um, so yeah, so Jen is here, and this whole area here will be for rhubarb, so she's clearing this. Oh, you've done it already, have you? Fantastic. And I think Jen's got about mm, five rhubarb plants to go in here, in this whole area. That's right, um, which we'll have a look at. We've got some new ones because up over there are a couple of rhubarb plants uh, that the person that had the uh, second allotment had. Uh, we don't know how old they are. They're not, for the last year, they haven't really been doing anything. Um, now, we don't know if that is because um, he put fresh manure on them and it needs to be well rotted um, or uh, apparently rhubarb plants grow to around about 10 years old i think jen did the research on so we're gonna yeah they carry on growing a lot longer than that but apparently the best yield is within the first 10 years i believe um so we're going to move those ones in a short while and bring them over here uh, but we've also got a couple of younger ones to also go in as well um and hopefully we'll have a nice a nice harvest of of rhubarb uh, later in the year when putting in rhubarb um or well, most plants I, I would say um what well, one thing to do um is to put down fertilizer now we don't want to use horse manure um for this but in the polytunnel here we do have some chicken fertilizer i found it oh, yes i found it all on my own oh so we've got some of this fertilizer to go down hello my sweetheart um which is i'm um, getting some feed for the uh, for the plant uh, this is chicken fertilizer um i don't know if there's a label anywhere here but yeah we've got some chicken fertilizer got some wood ash as well over there um but i think we'll just go with the chicken fertilizer to begin with oh happy days all right dear people we're back down with jen at the rhubarb place and the owners of this plot so we haven't used this plot at all uh, in this uh, this area of of the plot shall i say um and jen's just prepping it and she's just found that there's loads of weed membrane down underneath the compost that was there um so now she's having to dig down and rip it all up in order to be able to get her plants in but i think she's just ripping it in certain areas where certain plants are going to go so it's not all coming up um 
So keep the weed membrane down, keep the weeds down, but just <laughs> cut. Keep the weeds down, it's half a foot down. Oh gosh. Um, so yes, Jen's just planning out where she's going to put each plant and digging down, ripping up the, the weed membrane before then adding some fertilizer and um, and the uh, and the rhubarb plants. So plenty of compost left from when we moved the compost bin um, and now Jen is adding some uh, chicken feed, chicken, is it not chicken feed, chicken fertilizer? Um, into each of the hose that she has dug for the rhubarb so when the rhubarb goes in it's got a nice feed and then once we've put the rhubarb in we're going to put a bit more feed on top as well to give them a nice oh, nice bit of feed and we've also got manure as well yeah so that's fine so yeah this is where our rhubarb patch is um so let's go dig some rhubarb okay so obviously when digging up plants be really careful um and gentle not to damage any roots um Hi. Hello princess. And to when you're moving rhubarb, I think we've done the research that you can plant it and move it between the months of November and March. And uh, we are currently in February. And uh, so we thought this would be a good time to move it. Especially that we've had, I think it's been about two weeks. Yes, darling. Um, we've had about two weeks of sun. So the soil will be, will be a bit warmer, hopefully. We haven't had any hard frosts or anything like that. Hmm? Crikey, is that the root? Yeah. Let's have a feel, can't... Where is it? Up here. Up here. Alright. Oh, blurry. Right, that's got a big root. So, that's number one out. Jens, are you planting it straight away? No. Sorry? No. no. Oh. Moving it so I don't stand on it. Well, edit that out, Jen. Okay, first one out. How many have we got up here, Jen? So we find out we'll start digging around, won't we? Yep, so we've got another one here. The children are building a pond, which is what you can... Um, I would offer to do it, but there's a good chance I'll put the fork right through it, because I can't see. So just nice and gentle. See that one's rotten. So this rhubarb plant that Jen's just dug up is actually rot got a rotten root. On the half side, so we can cut that off with a spade. Shovel. Hmm. No. Actually it just fell off. Did it? Yeah. Jen's just seen if she can salvage this plant. This has got some leaves on it. Mm -hmm. So it should grow. It's just got a lot of grass on it, so grass takes up the nutrients, doesn't it? No, darling. Yeah, so hopefully we'll plant that one in with some fresh fertilizer, manure, and everything else, and it'll be all right. So Jen is going to try and just knock the grass off and the rotten Split bit of the root. Half. Split the crown in half, eh? Okay. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. So we've got two lots of new growth coming on it. Mhm. Mm there and there. I'm hoping I'm getting that on camera. Oh, there's a mouldy bit. Oh. Surely that can't be healthy. No, it can't. It's probably why you're growing. Mm. Oh, I would bin that, actually. It might be the whole plant's infected. Okay. Leave in the comments below if anybody's ever had an instant like this before and if we've done the right thing with that one. I did read it in the oh, did you? rhubarb book, yeah. Okay. rhubarb book especially, it says if there's bits that are mouldy, you cut that off as long as there's a growth at the top. You can cut that, I, get, I can cut that in two again. Oh, right, okay. There's a growth there and there's a growth there. Fantastic. Happy days. Right, so Jen's digging up the fourth rhubarb plant. We brought two up with us. Home. Yeah, when we were growing at home in a big bucket, um, so we thought you would do better up here. Uh, one is 
new from the shop. Um, obviously, if you watched because it, we thought we only had two. Yeah. yeah, we only thought we had two. Turns out we've actually got a bit of a bit more than what we expected. But um, yes, we've got quite a few rhubarb. I think we're going to end up with about seven plants. I don't know, this one's no good. That one's no good? Well, it's a teeny... Oh, it might be all right. Thing is... It's just one shoe on one stick. But it's got... No, it's no good. No, that's good then. Right, she's dug that one out. So obviously you can get the gist of what we're doing. Oh, yeah. They definitely need a new place. Yeah. They've got nice growth on them, but the leaves are going lucky. Hmm. So these ones might not last. No, but we've got some. We've got two fresh ones to go in, so we'll be able to monitor the difference between these ones and the fresh new ones going in to see how they're both doing. Yeah. Right, dear people, we are over. We are over with where the rhubarb is going to be planted, and Jen has taken her rhubarb out that she grew at home, and it, it looks so much healthier compared to the rhubarb that she's just dug up the roots look healthier like they're all intact well most of them are intact yeah have you got them in your hand to show the difference yeah but this hang on. this one in my right hand's the one from home okay so the one in the right hand which would be your left <laughs> is the one from from home and the one in the other hand is the one that she's just dug up one um of. one of they're all very similar yeah. Apart from the one that had all the leaves, but the, some of the leaves were moldy. Mhm. Mm so, hopefully, uh, a couple of them she's decided not to plant uh, because she thinks they're too far gone, uh, yeah, which that, is fine. That one's got white stuff on. I haven't read that. I didn't read okay. the mold and stuff. Um, I don't know whether I'll plant that one. No, because if it's diseased, you don't want to spread it. No. So, I'm which, put that one in the pile. which we can always buy, buy some new. Well, I've got one that won't grow anything this year, probably, because you leave it for the first year. Yeah. All of these are old ones, so we can harvest these this year. Yeah. So, Jen has, as we've seen earlier, put some fertiliser down in the pit. Yeah, that um, rhubarb's bigger than I thought, so I've got to dig bigger holes. <laughs> so, yeah, so it's got a bigger root than she thought, so she's digging a bigger hole. But where she put the uh, fertiliser in, she did water it as well. Um, and then once the, the plant is in... Um, we will again give it another a good another good watering. It's really tiring watching you do all the work, babe. <laughs> I actually had a comment from uh, Mr. O'Malley um, saying that. Uh, in the last video or two, I, I was doing all the work, so and you were just sat there. Um, so, it's, just sat there. <laughs> so it's about time you've done something. Um, yeah. And then I'm going to put um, horse manure in it as well. That's 18 months old. Yeah, yeah, so we've got some well rotted horse manure, 18 months old, as Jen has already said. Um, so that can go, go around it and hopefully give it a bit of a feed as well. Children up there, with Natalia's up there, Zachary's here. What are you doing, Zach? Mm. We're making the pond. You're making the pond? So you're getting some water for it, are you? Yeah. Okay. Tell him coming. Beautiful, isn't it? I, I love the fact that we've got the extra plot now that we can spread out and let the children have an area. Yeah, because before we were having to keep, keep them in a little tiny corner and they couldn't do anything. Yes, we, we had a little area from last time, but it just wasn't enough. Whereas now they've got a nice little area where they can really have some fun. Is that your fresh rhubarb plant in? Oh, that's the third one anyway. Third? Oh, crikey. All right, okay. Um, have you planted your two from home? or? I've planted one from home. Yep, yeah. okay. Because I want to have a little look at that one that we, we bought as that's well. By my okay. This is the one that had the mouldy leaves on, so we're going to see how he goes. Yeah. 
The thing is, if he's been in that ground and it's not been fed or worked or anything for a while, it, it just might be starving up there. Yeah. Possibly, I don't know. That one a Whilst Jen's doing that, I will show you guys the, the new one. Um, which is, where to Jen? Oh, he's in this bag, do you want me to take him out? Oh yeah, please. What one's this one? I like, I only picked this one up because I like the name Raspberry Red. Raspberry Red, which I quite like the name of that as well. So we'll have to put the, the thing with it so okay. we know which one is. You never know which end's which. I think that's the top end there. How do you know that? I know that because it kind of looks like, it's like petals. Okay. It's black petals, they fold over like a rose. Yeah. So that is where the bud comes out of. Okay, fantastic. Right Brilliant. Alright. Happy days. Next Raspberry red. No, it's got to be that way because that's how you hang it. Yeah. That's quite well worked out. So where's he going then? Wait, you're right on my backside, so... <laughs> What's that, Daisy? <laughs> so now Jan is using this well rotted manure and she's doing a handful for each plant. Not up to the plant, just around it. Just around it, not up to the plant um, because it can make it poorly, especially if it's fresh manure as well. Oh, don't so, use fresh manure, it'll never grow. No, so this is well rotted manure, just a little bit, just to help give it a bit more feed. And then uh, what we're going to do is we're going to tend to this quite a bit because this bit here hasn't been worked for a long time, which means there will be nutrients and stuff well in the ground, but we had to dig it up a little bit. Um, so to make it as best as possible, we've got chicken fertilizer, which we'll be sprinkling on it um, throughout the course of the year, making sure it's got a nice field, uh, sorry, a nice feed um, continuously throughout the, uh, the season. All right, so now Jen is giving the plants a, a good watering. And uh, we did check the weather forecast before coming up and doing this and uh, the temperatures are staying fairly um, um, constant with uh, highs of around about 11 degrees, 10, 11 degrees um, for the next, well, for the next week. Um, so, so hopefully they will take really well and we'll have some nice rhubarb. Well then, Jen. Right, dear people, what a wonderful day it's been today up at the allotment. I've had a great time, so has the children making their ponds. Um, thank you very much, everybody, for joining me. I can't believe I made 500 subscribers already. Um, so if you haven't already, please do subscribe. Uh, it's fantastic. And hopefully I'm showing uh, other people that are visually impaired, blind, disabled, whatever, that they can get out and enjoy life as much as I do. Um, you know, you just got to have the confidence to go out there and do it. And this is such a wonderful place to come and get back independence and have a lot of fun with the family. Thank you very much for joining us and uh, bye for now.